Okay. For this next exercise, I'm going to show you how to add a new item to the business directory or add a new business to the list of yellow pages. That can be found on the Kailami Business Parks website uh, under directories, followed by the drop down menu that says business directories. We will see a list of all the businesses that are currently listed on the website. Okay, at the moment we've got two categories for accommodation and services. It's also possible to add new, uh, uh, new categories. So, when you add a new business, uh, to log into the admin page, go to kailamipark.co.za forward slash admin forward slash webman.php Then enter your credentials and click submit. By going to pages, you'll find a list of all the pages currently listed on the website. To, a to add a new uh, business to the business directory, go to business directory and click on edit. Okay, so now to add a new category, we go to add regions. Uh, we can call this new region test for the sake of this exercise, make sure it's active and click on save. Go up to get back to the to the main page. The content over here is the same as the content that's over here. And to edit this content, you need to edit it over here and then click save. But uh, that's not what we're here to do. We are here to add a new business to the business directory. To add a new business, click to add branches. Uh, let's call the new branch name test and fill in the rest of the, the information. You'll see the new region that I've added, the new category test is uh, listed on the drop down menu. For the sake of this purposes, let's call this John Doe. We're basically just filling in all the fields. The website we can call just uh, www.test.ca.ca. Uh, putting a dummy telephone number and a dummy address. Okay, also an email address. And then over here you can add any content that you want to the website. Uh, I'll just get some dummy text. We always paste this plain text so that it removes all the formatting from wherever you're copying it from, whether it be Microsoft Word or uh, uh, another website or anything like that. Okay, so now this page can be used to edit the, the business page just as you please. Uh, I've created a company logo. So click on the icon that looks like a little mountain with the sun in the background. Go to Upload, Browse, Browse to where you have the image saved on your local drive. Okay, so that's the company logo. Say Open and send it to the server. OK. And OK. Uh, you can also add images, uh, normal business images, product images, things you want to say more about the company or whatever. Same process. Go to Browse, Company Image, and Open. Send it to the server. Okay. Here yeah, you've got more options regarding the images. You can change the size of the image, but you don't want to change it too much because if you enlarge it too much, it will affect the quality of the image. 
You can also change the alignment, add a border, add padding and all that sort of stuff. Click OK. So now your new company appears, the new company image along with the content. Okay, make sure it's active and save. Now go back to the, to the website, refresh the page. Over there you'll see the new category that I've added. Click on test and the new business that I've added with its details is listed here. So if you want to send the email, you click on the email. The numbers are really put in. Once you go in here, you'll see all the content that I just added to the page. There's the company logo, the details to the company, and all that. It's as simple as that. To add new categories, just to recap, we go to add regions. Once a, a new region is added, it will show up on the drop-down menu when we add a new branch or a new company. Just like that.